Hello fellow trailblazers, welcome to another episode on escapes and money adventures with TK. Now of course, I did promise you guys that I'll bring I'll bring a lot more males onto the channel, mainly because I want us to talk about money, men and their finances because what I've realized is a lot of men are under a lot of pressure and we don't really have a platform to talk about money and the financial pressure for us to provide. So in today's episode, I get to chat to a familiar face to the screen. I mean, he is not only is he a socialite, not only is he a social media influencer, he's a dad, he's a husband, but most importantly, he's a guy. And he's a guy that calls himself the king of the salt. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but he will unpack that. And today's topic is really, I, I decided to call it the street, the, the street hustle and the business of influencing. And what I wanted to talk about influencing is influencing is becoming it's a growing industry in the Lesotho context. When you compare it to South Africa, when you compare it to other parts of the country, influencer marketing has really made a lot of traction. Yes. But in the Lesotho context, it's I think it's still at its infancy stage. So I wanted to talk to Kotz. He will introduce himself fully. And we are talking about the street hustle and, of course, the business of influencing. My good sir, firstly, we had to shoot, shoot, shoot. That's the word. We were supposed to shoot this in November last year. <laughs> For reasons I will not... something like a year now. I know, November. In the making. For reasons I will not get into. <laughs> Here we are today after trials and tribulations. Okay, yeah. yeah, fine, cool. So tell us about who you are and we will kickstart our conversation this, this afternoon. Uh, King of the South, a.k.a. Young King, Junior Motaung, Alfred Junior Two. Alpha Junior too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know you've featured in a couple of platforms. Yeah. Um, most recent one being Real Talks with Pinks. Yeah. And I I was watching one of your videos and I wanted to understand King of the South. What does that mean? <laughs> I used to say, I get I get to make it. I sent the Greek said T-shirts on Massa Hit. So I I I specialized Greek said brand of a Massa Hit. If I send Greek said brand of a Mare. So too much. So yeah, para brand of a Mare. You understand? So, uh, my niggas there used to call me that king of the salt. King of the salt. This is where it began. I was much down on that because they used to say, Hey, Kare, it's one of the kids in the city, the thing, and the kind of thing. Oh! I was like, yeah, 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 king of the salt because I was always representing all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, by you saying this, it means that you've been in the streets for a very long time. For a very long time, ever since. I've been in college for 12 years now. Uh -huh. I've never been employed. You've never been employed? No. So, before we get into form, yeah. formal employment, because I was about to ask what's... Well, I've never formally employed because like, I've never worked anywhere, I guess if it's uh, any kind of job that has something to do with what I did in school. Mm -hmm. I've always worked with the project thing and then two months, now, three months, you know, mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. so I've never really been formally employed. So now that is a very interesting point. Yes. So two months here, three months there, let's talk about and what... A, a year. A year at a most. Year. But obviously you're getting money. Uh, with a year without anything. Without anything. <laughs> And then, silly. Which is which is which is cool. Yeah. So a month here, two months there, yeah. a year with nothing. Yeah. What's your relationship with money? What would you say is your relationship I with money? money a lot. <laughs> how did you how, <laughs> how did you get to respect well, him money a lot? Money a lot. Mm. Because for me, it has always been hard to get money. Mm -hmm. You understand? So let me not hustle because but what about you think of hustling into it and feel it doesn't just come. It, it's like I'm saying it's because. What I'm from an experience, I have mm -hmm. to know what to, you need to know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it, how to handle yourself, how to present yourself. You understand? You you don't say Kriksa Brande waiting you don't even believe in that way. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is where hustle comes in. So because Chelte, how now I need to respect money. I need to make sure whatever money I have, is ready to get If I can get sharp, I This is my money. You worked hard for this money. Yeah, you worked hard for this money. Yeah. I'm gonna blow it. Yeah. I, I respect money. Okay, cool. But in you respecting money, mm. I would imagine that somewhere when I look for and saying you've made a mistake or yeah, two, yeah. what would you say has been your biggest 
financial mistake. Yo, 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 yo. Friendships and money. Friendships and money. That's why we were always told, told it. you cannot mix friendships and money. But that's what I did. Um, I helped out a guy, a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. When uh, he was going through something, maybe I helped him out. Like, um, 32,000. Thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand. Context, guys. Context. Okay. Yeah. 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 For whatever transaction there was, maybe we don't contract. There's no contract. I got I got I got you. I got you. You know, I got you. And then, fast forward. Nah, I still haven't got that money back. Nah, I don't it. So you can. How many years ago was this? It's, it's been something like something like three years now. So. Quick calculation, had he put this money in an interest bank account, worst case, COVID and everything else that has happened, let's suppose 7% per annum, his money would have grown quite substantially. So... You're stressing me. You have... <laughs> stressing me out. So there's no money, there's no interest, it is a mess. Okay, cool. It's a, it's a, it's a debt now. Yeah. A bad debt. Yeah. But, okay, so what are the emotions whenever you speak about this? Have you forgiven yourself? Have you... you know, Move you know, past it. Yeah, yeah. like it, it had to come to that point where I would have to forgive myself before I can forgive this person because I I, I blamed myself for Horebe. Mm. Mm. I believed in him so much. The fact that I believed in the relationship so much. Horebe and Ka, at the end of the day, it's gone. Quick That's question. Like, yeah. Quick question. What was okay? There was this transaction between you as friends. Yeah. What was the thirty-two thousand supposed meant to be? For, for, for a car. For a car. So you're buying a car. It was a car. Yes, I was buying it. So you're buying a car from this friend, or he was facilitating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't get the. For the car. Do you have the car? No. <laughs> So you don't have the car, you don't have 32,000, you don't have the interest on it. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yo! I'm telling you now, like, it, 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 it's been a change. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are talking. This is it. It's let bygones be bygones. Yeah, this is it. Sure. Wow. 32,000 rand, I would have, I don't know, uh, no comment. For, so now we're talking about brand influencing. Yes. So 11, 12 years unemployed, you're hustling, you're, mm-hmm. you are selling T-shirts. Mm. How did you get into influencing? Firstly, what would you say is influencing and how did you get into influencing? Not under the influencing clear by default. Because we, 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 we grew up in different times. Mm-hmm. Almost now, the, the influence are having. So I cannot really say I wanted to be an influencer because I didn't even know what social media influencing is. Aha. I didn't know what brand influencing was. Mm-hmm. So what happened was I just gained fellowship uh, on Facebook. Because I gained fellowship. Facebook because of everything I was putting out there, the content, the videos and everything. So even when I first learned about this uh, thing uh, influencing, you know, you know what? Maybe I can do this thing. Mm-hmm. With the type of fellowship that I have, I can do this thing. But as time goes, ever get you dog, this is not just something in Yanyana, it's a business. It's a business, and yes. I need to start treating it like a business. I need to start treating it like a way to get income. Mm-hmm. And so it means okay, you start doing things differently. You start reading, uh, reading or now. How do I do this? How can I do this better? The social media influence are sharp again. So social media influencing basically we influence them to go go change a mindset or True. about the way about land property. Get them shala. Get them far. Oma lutila. But when they had this perception, or they lutila that you know, so you change that narrative and narrative that perception. That perception. Mm. And you still behave. 
So now that's very interesting yeah. because now you are changing perceptions yeah. and now you're also starting to treat it like a business. So now how do you choose which brands you want to work with the biggest thing for me is to brand loyalty aha uh-huh. okay i don't want to work with some with somebody or work with a certain company or a certain brand i don't believe in it i don't really 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 believe in it mm-hmm. because it's going to be work for me and if it's work for me it's not going to be authentic yeah you understand yeah. the only way to authenticate myself is to believe in the product believe in the brand believe in whatever I'm trying to say to mm-hmm. the people. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm. They would always say, I get excited part also, they would always say, I don't know just talk. They would say, if you just talk, what I know I'll say, if ever you're selling, what I know I'll just talk, because whatever you're selling, but what sounds like, oh, they need to look the part. That's very powerful. They need to see that. You need to be the brand, be exactly. The brand. Be the brand. Yes. Yeah, how about, how about, how about, how so that is the biggest thing for me. So brand alignment and brand alignment. you need to believe in the value, yeah. the values of that particular brand and what it stands for. So now, a lot of influencers, especially in the Lesotho context, are starting to come into the business. Pricing. How do you know what to price, how to price? What has been your experience in that regard? It's one of the most difficult things about this thing. Mm. Pricing. The problem here is that we're counting, they know it, one and one get two. Yeah. It's always going to be like that because they have a reason. Mm-hmm. Because one get one, one get one, and you can use two. So, not only you're selling yourself, you're selling value, you're selling self worth. You understand? You're saying, can I lay follow our Tsega? Can I engagement taker? Mm-hmm. You understand? This you cannot say how you get away influences a hundred about what a product. They you might come in six weeks later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you cannot say that. Mm. You cannot say I cannot post a video, I probably got about five thousand. You don't know that. What you know, what you are relying on, you know exposure by people. And that is the biggest thing I can make it in. Currency. Currency. That's into. currency, yeah. So they, they are going to get the exposure. And when they get the exposure, that means sorry, they are going to start making sales. So companies don't want to pay. Mm-hmm. They really don't want to pay. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, the one question I wanted to ask more so, because I think we're running out of time as well, is... As a guy, as a brand influencer, you also provide for your family. Mm-hmm. And the COVID pandemic was hectic, you know. Yeah. So, and a lot of guys are under a lot of financial pressure, mm-hmm. but we don't really talk about that as guys. Yeah. So, which ultimately leads to mental health issues, gender-based violence, and then this goes on. Mm-hmm. What's your view on, rather, let me ask this question um, differently. What's, what has been the impact of COVID-19 on you and your mental health from a financial perspective? We probably deals were not coming through at that time. How did you navigate that? And how did you keep yourself sane mentally? Well, one of the things, I think to get into a complicated too, because it's one of the topics we don't really, really talk about. Mm. We are told that men are providers. We grew up by a community theory, men are providers. So it's, it's always been a big thing. So how could it be I couldn't provide for my family because I couldn't work, I couldn't sell anything. Exactly. So it was very difficult for me because it's a mental thing. The mental thing. Mm. You're not providing. If you're not, if you're not providing, the smallest like you're a woman, you start feeling like that. because this is what you're told. Mm. Because a man is supposed to provide. Mm. So yeah, and a lot of guys to go through that because we, we don't really talk about this kind of thing. Okay, I cannot provide, and this is the way it's making me feel. Mm. This is how I feel about it. Mm. 
This is what I think my wife feels about me. I'm born in China. I have to almost let it go from my heart. So therefore, those feelings of I'm weak, I'm useless, I'm, I, I can't I'm survive, become I'm failing, I'm failing, which yeah. is very, very important. Yeah. Yeah. So I think in closing, um, you are a dad, you are a husband. What's your relationship like? How, how do you guys talk about money in your specific relationship? Mm. With this, with the last question in mind, yeah. in closing. <clears throat> As a hustler, for me, it was very important. Okay, I needed to teach my woman how to get a child. She needs to know how to get a child. I understand so that I can put it on the table and say, this is how much I have. Can I have ten thousand? This is how much I made in the last month. Can I have one thousand? This is. It, it differs because. Month to month, I try. Exactly. So mm. we had to come down to Atabawe. She needs to know in the corner, which I'm not going to tell you. And minimum, I tell you, you know, is a year, and maximum, you know, is a year. So, you know, we redivide the cost of our now. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. What I want to three, four, five, I will do one, two, three, four, five. You put up at the rent, and then I'll pay the rent. I'll pay for this. So, and say, because I don't have a night club at transport, and club at a DSTV, because most of the time during the month. And I'll come and tell the month. I'll tell the month, and I'll tell the month, and then I will do the rest of the things. In one sentence, because we are definitely out of time, and the team is going to kill me. What do you say to men specifically who are watching this, who are thinking, I'm under pressure? I am not providing, I feel like I'm failing. What do you say to them in one sentence? If you are not providing now, it doesn't mean you're failing. It doesn't mean you're a failure. It doesn't mean how now, how not try, how not focus, how not vision. Just now, it's a temporary thing. You catch it in Chagosa. You just need to keep holding on to the dream, keep holding on to the vision. Keep holding on to what you want to achieve. You understand? And only believe the hype. Oh, hey, hey, mona saite nyinyi musali ya sibita. But no, no, rapela plo ufa pane. It's a different world. But how about when I sibita, I sibita, our mothers were not working. Mm. It was a different thing. <coughs> we are in a different world. You are still a man, and you don't have to fight for the virtue of being a man in your family by being physical with your woman because what sibita is because of. Now, mm. just need to sit down and talk. You are still a man. You are valid. You are competent. You are capable. You are not a failure. So I think that literally wraps up the episode of um, the street of hustling, and of course the business of influencing. Thank you so much for engaging with us. And again, we are trying to get to three thousand subscribers. Watch the video till the end. Uh, number two, remember to like, share this conversation, and of course subscribe to the channel and if you're a guy remember it's okay not to be okay let's talk about mental health issues let's talk about the financial pressures we're going through and let's also remember that you're not failing you're a guy so until the next episode love peace and bye -bye. ciao guys